When we first opened Pettis Elementary School six years ago, we were looking at the plans and saw that it's located in this beautiful area around the Green Belt in this natural city park area. And that gave me the idea at that time that this is a great way to connect our kids to nature. Our goal is to prepare our students for life beyond school, and so we have a motto of life beyond testing. We want our students to be successful on the state test and to be academically successful, but we want them to do that as a byproduct of real authentic learning. And there's nothing more authentic than getting our kids out in nature and experiencing the joy and the discovery that they can find out here. You guys can see if you can help me find a fossil in here. You know what they look like? It gives it a little break from just being inside and just looking at books. At Perez, we try to develop the whole child, so this is part of developing the whole child, taking them out to nature. The difference between this and a book, and what we see in the book in science is totally, it's more fun being out here in the, in the nature. There's rocks that we might not have in the classroom, and there's lots of different types of plants, and Lots of, and there's a creek that we definitely don't have and tadpoles and fish that we might not be able to have in the classroom. You know, it's better to be outside. It seems like, you know, reading, it comes to you in a more natural way and it's, it's better. It's really, you know, a positive energy instead of being enclosed, you know, in the portables. <laughs> I like to be outside here because I enjoy hearing the birds sing sometimes and I get to get fresh air from outside. As part of an Eagle Scout project and parent support, we've also had an outdoor classroom built where the kids are able to sit outside on benches and to partake in lessons or activities outside. Again, the same things they could do indoors, but why not do them outdoors when this whole world is available to them? Poison ivy, Poison ivy bingo, right? That's a, uh, that's a plant we try to identify all the time. I like the trees and, and I like the nature. You get to see nature and you get to see unusual stuff you never get to see, like birds that you usually don't see, you can see them down on the nature trail. It's in nature and we have like all these butterflies and flowers and trees that we never seen before and we go like try to identify them and it's a very cool classroom out here. We've come a long way from being a school that was initially focused on opening and getting the building operating to a school that's really focused now on trying to expand the opportunities for our kids outdoors in nature and really encouraged those who already had a passion for it to act on that passion, authorize them to do it because sometimes teachers feel that they can't get their kids outdoors, there's no time for that in the schedule. So we've not only authorized it, but we've encouraged it. What I like best about gardening is that we help the environment as a rule, our school systems tend to keep kids locked behind closed doors when they're trying to inspire them. And so we've really been trying to reach out to get our kids connected to nature um, for multiple reasons. The health benefits, the educational benefits, the mental health benefits, and um, so many more. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, I'm a butterfly. All right, ready?